Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about bread. So, uh, what exactly is bread? For one thing, bread is not a palindrome. Bread is made from flour, water, yeast, and salt. You put that puppy in the oven and you have a nice hot loaf of bread. In essence, bread is jam-packed to the brim with nutrients. That's right, folks. Here's the rundown. The bran of the wheat and corn is stuffed to the crust with fiber and provides a boatload of vitamin B that is sure to keep you healthy. But the endosperm, that's where it gets serious. This is the middle layer that contains carbohydrates and wheat. Now wait for it. Proteins. Now if we're going to get really serious, the germ is where you want to be. It is the core of the grain and it is filled to the brim with antioxidants, vitamin E, vitamin B, and get this, healthy fats. However, this is the whole grain. With the Industrial Revolution, the once nutritionally packed loaves of bread consumed by Americans were soon replaced by loaves of white bread. Ever since the Neolithic age, bread has fueled human existence with its extensive nutrients and delicious taste. The importance of bread can be seen in the medieval times where practically everyone feasted on this stuff, provided most of the essential nutrients for the working class to live. In addition to this, laws were enacted in order to protect the consumer, demonstrating the importance of bread in human society. To take things back a bit, it all started when the first Brits came over from the motherland. With them, they brought loads of scrumdiddlyumptious wheat. Once things got settled in the colonies, flour milling quickly rose the ladder. The city of Philadelphia prided themselves on the quality of their flour, ensuring that the highest quality of the good stuff. Although the nutrients of bread is through the roof, the Industrial Revolution created an impetus for change. The newfound knowledge for germs led to an incentive for a cleanliness upheaval, which would therefore revolutionize the bread world in its entirety. Bread production shifted from the mom-and-pop bakeries to sanitary factories, just like that. The final nail in the coffin for bread was invention of the roller milling system. This process made it possible for germ and bran of corn and wheat to be removed, leaving it completely devoid of its nutritional goodness. It doesn't stop there, folks. Scientific breakthroughs in the mid-1800s made it possible for bread to be further industrialized. The development of baker's yeast in the 1840s completely changed the bread game. These little critters fed on the starch of the dough, thus producing a load of carbon dioxide that is trapped inside of it. This allowed the dough to rise like no tomorrow. With culinary geniuses like the Pressman brothers, yeast soon made its way to America, completely changing the landscape of both home baking and commercial baking for the world to come. Baking powder uh, is very piquant to be frank. And boy is it a powerhouse inside the loaf. Here's what it's composed of. Calcium, acid phosphate, and sodium bicarbonate. Now that's what I like to call a dynamic duo. When these two puppies are put together, they're a real wombo combo. Like the little micro critters mentioned prior, this reaction creates a load of carbon dioxide and trapped dough, creating a light and fluffy masterpiece. This stuff was perfected by my man, even Horsford. Now, this man was no ordinary Joe. He was a Harvard chemist. How pairs is that? With his insane education, he eradicated the inconsistencies of sour milk and cream of tartar, which had plagued the bread world for years. The apex of the industrial process would be seen with Wonder Bread storming the supermarket shelves in the 1920s. Milder man, Otto Rowe, invented a culinary masterpiece, the mechanized bread slicer. After a period of uncertainty, consumers were hooked like a fish. The inconvenience that pre-sliced bread offered consumers was incomparable to that given by the run-of-the-mill loaf. However, this industrial creation was not all sunshine and rainbows. As mentioned prior, 
the roller mill milling system eradicated any trace of nutritional value from the orig original wheat seeds. This led to pellagra and beriberi epidemics in the 1930s, which were caused by vitamin B deficiencies, which were provided in the bran of the wheat seed. After nearly a century of inferior and disgusting bread as produced by Wonder Bread, America has finally come to its senses with the artisan bread movement. Utilizing the powers of social media, moms all around the country have united into tight-knit bread baking communities, thus giving us the loaf that we had cherished so, so many generations prior. Well, anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure teaching you about bread. That's all she wrote. Dan's game.